In the following Sequoia demonstration, we're going to take a look at the meshing of the Serpent Mount dataset, which we converted previously. I'll create a point loader and pick directly the SPAT cache that was created. As you probably remember, it was saved with a single plus offset uh, mode. And we can change the intensity to 100 times uh, in order to see it better in the viewport. Since our data is stored in very high precision and it's offset over 4000 kilometers from the origin, but the measure only uses 32 bit floats to store its vertices, we would have a precision problem. In addition, exporting to most of the file formats for meshing and importing into most 3D applications like game engines or Autodesk 3ds Max and so on only supports 32-bit uh, floats, so we would uh, have to solve this precision problem somehow. There are two possible approaches. One way would be to transform this object to either sit at the world origin. I'll change the spacing of the grid so we can see in kilometers. Or we can use the option to center the world origin, which will uh, place the middle of the bounding box exactly at the zero zero. However, uh, this would be a problem if we had uh, dozens or even hundreds of point loaders uh, which uh, are already transformed and rotated and aligned to each other. Moving them all to the origin uh, from kilometers away would be problematic. Instead of doing this, we can now reset the transforms, go back to this point loader, and when we create a measure, Sequoia is going to automatically detect that the precision of the measure wouldn't be enough to deal with this data. And it will inform us that it added a UCS to the mesh. A UCS stands for User Coordinate System. It's an additional object that defines the position of the reference coordinate system and the orientation of the axis of the coordinate system. So if we wanted to reorient our meshing to follow a different orientation, or if we want to redefine where the origin is in order to store all the vertices relative uh, to a local coordinate system, this is um, our solution. So in this case we have this object and if we would uh, hit the update mesh, the measure will actually uh, store all the vertices relative to the UCS. We can switch this uh, mesh display to solid color and uh, we see that we have a very clean mesh. However, if we would remove the user coordinate system, we get another warning that a UCS would be needed and there is no sufficient precision, we can still mesh with the wrong settings and take a look at the result. After the mesh has been calculated, we're going to notice that some of the faces have shading artifacts because some of the vertices were moved. This is the same effect as uh, saving the original point cloud to single 32-bit uh, floats. Um, we are getting rows of uh, points because of the low precision. So uh, we can go and pick back the user coordinate system and remesh. And instead of meshing from scratch, we are getting the previously calculated mesh um, immediately from the cache. At this point, we could try to export this mesh and load it in another application. We have two options for export. We have the uh, export to world space, which uh, would store the data in the file with the 4000 kilometers offset from the world origin. And this is, of course, a bad idea because the precision wouldn't be enough with the two bit floats. We can export in UCS space. And if we do this, we'll call this. Uh, file measure underscore UCS and when we save it we'll uh, export it relative to this coordinate system and when we load it in 
for example, 3ds Max, it will appear at the origin. Let's create the XMesh loader and go and pick this file, switch it to generic from generic units to the file units, and then it will be scaled in order to be the correct 2.7 uh, kilometers, even though our scene is set to inches currently. As you can see, it is placed correctly at the world origin. This is uh, even better visible when we, uh, we scale it down to generic units. If we would uh, go and export from Sequoia using the world space option, we're getting a warning that tells us that the precision wouldn't be sufficient and we can uh, still use the UCS export instead. But in this case, we'll just override this. And we'll say this is with UCS in world space. So let's export and go and update this loader. There is the world. Of course, it will disappear from here. We'll hide the icon so it doesn't um, prevent us from zooming the extents. And now we are thousands of kilometers away from the world origin. And of course, 3ds Max is going to have a little bit of a problem displaying those polygons. Uh, there is lots of z-fighting and potentially the navigation can suffer um, because the data representation is 32-bit floats. Even worse, if we remove the user coordinate system and export in world space, we'll call this no UCS and world we'll create a new file and we'll load it again no UCS and world uh, now we have double trouble because the mesh in Sequoia was already meshed with its own artifacts and then we're getting additional artifacts from the display in 3ds Max especially if we enable the use file units and go and zoom there now we're even farther because we are dealing with kilometers and not just some inches and uh, the display gets uh, even worse. So in all these cases, we should be using the user coordinate system option and uh, making sure that the 32-bit floats calculated relative to the local uh, reference coordinate system in Sequoia are going out into uh, a space that can represent the data correctly. We can dismiss all the messages that were issued and uh, we could save this scene as a reference for the future.